So a short YouTube on an app that I came across, I think in an article, um, maybe in the ARRL magazine or the Rack magazine, called Droidstar. Droidstar is a receive-only app for, in my case, uh, DMR and DSTAR, because that's all I really have access to. But it does cover things like P25, uh, and XDN and some other modes as well. So I'm going to you know, post those here. The prerequisite to me seems to be that you have to be registered on the DMR network to be able to have a DMR number and also on the DSTAR network to have a call sign, so which would be your ham call sign typically. And from conversation with friends, unless you um, put a valid call sign in, you won't necessarily get the audio out of the app but uh, here's how it goes anyway so let's go hopefully you can see this okay so first of all it's Android only uh, at the moment and it's on beta so uh, first of all you would go into the Play Store and you would search for Droid Star So droid like android and star. And there it is droid star. In my case it's already installed but you could install it. So it says droid star early access. And I've noticed that since I've installed this there's also um, some changes to the screen so if you're looking at some older YouTubes which there's only two or three I've seen uh, they show a slightly different interface which is why I wanted to show this so let's open Droid Star this is what it looks like um, let me find a, a pointing stick good old-fashioned pencil so here on the modes is where you select between um, say D star, DMR, whatever. In fact, let's give you the list. It says reflectors or ref for reflectors, XRF, those are both D star. DCS I'm not sure about. YSF is Yaesu System Fusion, which will give you the rooms. DMR, P25, and XDN. Okay, so um, I mainly use DMR. But there we are. So before you even start, what I will say is that you need to, um, with it not connected, so the button there shows connect, it enables you to type in these boxes. You should put in a uh, ham call sign and the number. Um, and that for me is all I had to do because my ham call sign is also uh, the call sign I use on uh, D Star. So it seems to come through. So up on the options here, you've got reload DMR IDs and I, I'm taking that to mean the uh, bit that translates your DMR number to a call sign and also reload host files. So I just tap both of those. It says downloading here and it just does it. It doesn't take very long at all. And I'm assuming host files is uh, to do with other modes. Okay, so that, that's done. So now uh, it's a case of choosing what system you're going to use uh, here on the mode and which room or uh, which room or talk group you're going to go into depending what, what system it is you're using. I have no experience of Fusion. Uh, but I gather it's as simple as this. So making sure that you have your call sign in and uh, your ID number for your call sign. Let's, let's change that to DMR. And then in host, select where you are. If you're in UK, I would say Brandmeister UK. 
put a Brandmeister Europe. I believe this is just your access point, so even if you're in Canada, you can select one of the others, doesn't really matter. Um, but I, I select uh, Brandmeister Canada because I am. And down here in this little box, you can type in the talk group. So you could type in 3021 3100. 91 is generally the busiest, I think, so we will use that. This password section here, I haven't had to put anything in and I don't really know what that's for. But hopefully when we connect, um, there will be some information here. Let's, let's see. Yep, there we are, that's connected. And a way of knowing you are connected also is this little line at the bottom that mentions a ping. And if we have the volume up a little bit, we're probably here. Area B4. Uh, so, um, glad to talk to you. Yeah, it's a hot day here. Uh, my wife's just setting a meal in front of me right now. It's about a quarter after one in the afternoon. Uh, so, that's how that works. Okay, I'm going to press disconnect now just to disconnect from that, and we'll do the same example with D Star. So, where that at the top says uh, DMR right now change that over to reflectors because that's what these uh, these star seems to use and I don't know what to use um, I know O1C so reflector O1 and then module C I believe that's uh, kind of typically busy um, I've left the same information already in there but if you don't have this, I think all you actually need is your call sign for D-Star. There's no activity on there at the moment, but you can see that's, uh, that's pinging. It has a line that says ping 3, 4, etc. So you know you are connected. So in order to type in these boxes, you need to um, disconnect, otherwise they're you know, the equivalent of greyed out on a computer, you can't do anything with, with them. So now you can, etc. Well, you don't need those boxes in D-Star because you're just going for the, uh, the uh, reflector. So there we are, that's uh, the demo. So mode is um, which system you're using. Module is only used in D-Star. Um, it's conventional, the same as you use with D-Star, like B and C. Uh, call sign here, even though the box doesn't say call sign, you need your ham call sign in there. And I would say your uh, ID number as well, your uh, DMR ID number. And then you can pretty much work everywhere. The rest happens down here after you click on connect. Let's just give it one more, uh, one more go. The old speak to you, if you're with three tangles, what is the old free station? The fifth and four, uh, Delta Lima Tango, the fifth and four, Delta Lima Tango, this is the old speak to you, we've got an afternoon, do you deserve it, when it comes out? It's a great way to be out and about without actually a radio, perhaps not in range of a uh, D-Star or DMR repeater, just to see what activity is going on. Like, for example, if you're at work and uh, you know, you don't, you're not lugging around a handheld. Sorry for the uh, atrocious uh, sound in this video. <laughs> I'm sharing a room with the air conditioning which is doing overtime at the moment because it's uh, 100 degrees outside. So <laughs> What's that? 30, 39 degrees, something like that. See, it's uh, it's a brutally bad day. Anyway, um, a few things I discovered after shooting the, uh, the video for this is that you need valid call sign to be able to receive the audio. Um, don't use it at the same time as a, a hot spot. Uh, here I use an open spot, and I found that if the open spot was already connected to DMR then I would get no DMR come through on the Droid Star at all. The moment I switched the hotspot away to D Star, the DMR activity started again. And it's the same with D Star. So if your uh, if your hotspot is on D Star, Droid Star won't be receiving D Star at that moment. When you disconnect your hotspot away from D Star, then Droid Star will pick up again. So uh, here's a on the screen you'll see an example um,
couple of pictures here um, for DMR and for DSTAR, only the bits you need to type in. The remaining stuff still stays on the screen from your previous uh, connection, but it's just not used. I think it's a great bit of software and uh, I hope it moves on from beta, I really do, because it's, uh, it's very enjoyable to use. Hope you enjoyed the video, bye! So this video, if you like it, our video, comment down below or thumbs up. Thanks for watching, VA3SII. Bye.